Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. In our today's video, we are going to see the effect of temperature on molarity. That is, let's say this is the solution having molarity M. What will happen if I increase the temperature of this solution on the molarity? What is the effect on the molar concentration on molarity of the solution? So this is our solution. What I'm doing is heating with the help of a Bunsen burner. This is called as Bunsen burner. So I am heating the solution. So let us first again see the formula for molarity. What is molarity? Molarity is number of moles of solute divided by the volume of solution in liters. Okay, so suppose you are thinking that volume is directly proportional to temperature at constant number of moles and pressure, right? This is called as Charles law. So if you are thinking that volume is directly proportional to temperature, so if I increase temperature, volume will be okay. And what molarity is volume so if volume is increasing molarity should decrease so if i increase the temperature molarity should decrease so if you are thinking like this this concept is absolutely wrong or incorrect why because first thing is that this charles law it is applicable only for ideal gases okay it is applicable to ideal gases and here we are talking about a solution solution having a solid solute solid solute and solvent is a liquid that is water let's say sugar dissolved in water okay so let us try to understand then what will happen exactly to a solution when i heat suppose this is the solution level of solution initially and let's say there are one, two, three, four, five, five sugar molecules. Okay, this is what this is a sugar solution. What I do, I heat the solution. So, what will happen when we heat a solution? Obviously, its volume will decrease. Why its volume will decrease? Because the water will start to evaporate. Okay, at the boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius, water will start to evaporate, and you can see the level of solution or the volume of solution has decreased from this to this so this is the final volume that is volume is decreased okay but if you see the number of particles number of particles will remain the same because we have not added any excess sugar in the solution so what happens volume of the solution is decreasing and we saw just now molarity is inversely proportional to volume so if volume is increasing, what will happen to the molarity? Molarity will increase. Okay, let us try to understand this in a much better manner by visualization how we will come to know. Initially, let's say sugar solution will be very dilute. When we start heating, after some time, we will see that this consistency of this solution or thickness of this solution will be more. Or we can say consistency will become very thick. Okay, thick and sticky because of the sugar present in the solution. So this is also an indication that the our molarity or molar concentration has increased and volume is decreased. So in this way also or another ways we can say that the viscosity of the solution is increased. So in this way when we increase the temperature what happens to the molar concentration? molar concentration or molarity will increase okay i hope you understood this concept thank you so much